Welcome to Decentralized News. Today, I just want to speak to you guys about a report by JP Morgan titled uh, Opportunities in the Metaverse, which explores uh, how businesses can take advantage of opportunities in the metaverse and uh, help them navigate between the hype and the realities of what's actually going on in the space. So it actually states that uh, they did look at some statistics and uh, about $54 billion every year is being spent on virtual items, almost double that amount that is being spent on music as an example. And they also say that, you know, uh, people are spending about or sending about uh, 60 billion messages on uh, platforms like uh, Roblox, creating uh, over uh, 650 million in revenue from uh, games such as uh, Second Life and paying out over $80 million of that money to creators. They also say that the NFT market space has grown to levels reaching over $40 billion. And uh, some projects such as uh, Sandbox have uh, quite incredible partnerships at the moment with uh, uh, companies such as Warner Music Group uh, looking to launch things like uh, music themed virtual worlds which you've already seen some sort of uh, virtual concerts taking place uh, and um, so just to give an, a, a little bit of a, a, a brief into what the metaverse is all about if you're new to the term or this concept so the metaverse is pretty much a seamless uh, convergence of our physical lives and our digital lives which creates a unified virtual community where people can work play relax transact and socialize so the metaverse is still pretty much in its uh, early fa phase of its evolution and there's still no singular all-encompassing definition to which people can turn to but uh, some of the themes in uh, the metaverse world that are emerging include sort of our play to earn games um, and things of that nature so it's uh, obviously key to understand that there is no one virtual world but many worlds which are taking shape and to enable sort of uh, people to deepen and extend their social interactions globally. What I want to focus on in what I found very interesting in this report was just the key comparisons between Web 2.0 versus the Web 3.0 approach to the metaverse. So example of our virtual worlds in Web 2.0 include Second Life, Roblox, Fortnite, World of Warcraft. In Web 3.0, you're looking at things like Decentraland, the Sandbox, uh, Somnium Space, Crypto Voxels, etc. As far as organizational structures, in most Web 2.0 uh, games, it's uh, centrally controlled. Decisions are made based on uh, sort of a shareholder value. With uh, these Web 3.0, it's more community governed generally through a foundation such as a decentralized autonomous organization, and they are obviously some native tokens that are issued in order to enable people to participate in governance and uh, decisions that tend to be made through user consensus. As far as uh, data, data, like I said, same thing, it's quite centralized. And with Web 3.0, you have a level of a decentralization in terms of uh, the gaming assets and the platform formats tend to be sort of a PC or console, virtual reality, AR, augmented reality, hardware or mobile apps in Web 2.0. In Web 3.0, you're still looking at PCs, VR, AR, hardware and mobile apps as well, which are starting to develop. And um, as far as uh, the payments infrastructure, okay, that's where crypto comes into play because with uh, Web 2.0, you're looking at uh, traditional payments like uh, credit debit cards in uh Obviously, the Web 3.0 space, you're looking at people using crypto wallets. As far as digital asset ownership, uh, you know, in Web 2.0, these are leased within platforms where they are purchased in Web 3.0, uh, owned through NFTs, so they are transferable. And in Web 2.0, they are pretty much locked onto those platforms if you're talking about the actual digital assets. And uh, as far as uh, content creators for Web 2.0, they tend to be game studios or developers. With the Web 3.0, it seems to be more community oriented game studios and developers as well. As far as the, um, the activities you can expect in Web 2.0 gaming, it's a socialization, multiplayer games, game streaming, competitive games such as esports. In uh, Web 3.0, you're looking at uh, play to earn games, 
experiences and uh, some uh, out of the box type of uh, approaches. So as far as identities in uh, Web 2.0, you're looking at uh, avatars. In uh, Web 3.0, you're looking at self-sovereign and interoperable identities and uh, anonymous and private key-based identities as well. So as far as uh, payments, you're looking at in-platform virtual currencies, for example, Ro Robux on Roblox. And uh, in uh, Web 3.0, you're looking more at uh, crypto tokens. And as far as the revenues comparable, Web 2.0, mostly platform or apps, uh, earns sort of 30% uh, or upwards of uh, every game purchased, 70% going to developers, uh, which is kind of uh, an, uh, an uh, sort of the sort of common model. In uh, Web3, you're looking at more peer-to-peer -peer stuff uh, where developers and content creators are directly earning revenue from sales and users or gamers can also earn through play or participation in platform governance and royalties on secondary trades of NFTs as well are made available to collectors. So this is a you know a short 18-page um, uh, report, but uh, I think it's very interesting that you're looking at entities like JP Morgan now, really analyzing what's going on in the space as far as these developments going into the metaverse and uh, in the world of uh, NFTs, coupled with uh, some DeFi elements as well. So make sure you check it out. I'll leave a link in the description to the full report. And uh, if you are interested in learning more, make sure you check out the links in the description to my books, Tokenized Trillions, Blockchain Applied, and also do go to our main site on our resources tab on Decentralized News. We've got all the you know, NFT platforms, DeFi platforms, all of that good stuff on our resources page. Also check out some of the NFT platforms and uh, these play to earn games that we've reviewed on our main site. Like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I'll see you again in the next video. Peace and love.